Il Trovatore by Verdi is one of the most famous operas in the repertoire. And it's famous, of course, for its arias, some of the most famous, like Di Quella Pira or Stri de la Vampa, that have been sung by all the greatest singers of all time. And so it also has a bit of a bad reputation for being the more cliched type of opera with a maybe slightly kitsch libretto. No? But um, I think that's like a bit of an ur urban legend, because if you come and see this production, you'll see that it, it has this incredibly emotional, uh, high action, thriller sort of story. It's actually a ghost story. It's a story of how people are haunted by the, their past and live only through the filter and prism of their past and can't live their present and how their, even their future is made impossible by that past that they can't get away from. Um, so this, this tense, dark and exciting story told through this extraordinary music and with an incredible cast, by the way, of really the top-notch singers in, in this uh, type of singing, bel canto. Um, I think will be a very surprising experience, even for people who are not used to going to opera and who might think, oh, Il Trovatore, that's a typical thing. I already know what that's going to be. Well, no, you don't. So you should come and see it. Somebody was telling me that uh, uh, we are marketing, actually, this production with a hashtag Il Trovatore on fire. And there's a good reason for that. It's a story about fire. Fire as the origin of everything and the origin of the passions and of the desires of vengeance that really drive all the characters. But also it's in the story because um, the main character, who's called Azucena, is haunted by the ghosts of uh, her dead mother and her dead son who were burnt alive in, in, for different re reasons. Um, and she, she desires his vengeance that she sees every time she sees a flame. And uh, she, she feels the pain and the passion of all that happened to, to her family in this flame. And through that flame, she desires to, to burn the present and the future of all the other characters. So the flame is actually in the production, very present through the piece and grows and ends up consuming everything. Um, and many of the arias actually are about fire. The famous tenor aria, uh, Di Quella Pira, is about the fire that this, the, 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 the main character, the tenor, uh, is going to use for his vengeance. And Strida la Vampa, the, the, the mezzo's aria, is uh, about the moment of the death of her mother and of her son and how she relives it, as I said before. So fire is omnipresent and uh, gives the show its energy.